Hello, I am Sentimus Prime, and here I will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Deluxe Class Elita 1. Now first and foremost, we will be taking a look at the figure herself. Now, now right off the bat, you can see that this is indeed Elita 1 in a more G1-esque design, and I say G1-esque because this is not really how she, this is not exactly how she looks in the G1 cartoon. There are some design differences. This is because they've basically redesigned her so that she could have an Earth mode. Which is pretty neat. I do like I do like it, and it is a really nice look for her. And they even added some uh, accent colors, like the like this like magenta color, or and this red, in addition to the pink and white. Which with this color combination is really nice and is honestly reminding me of Valentine's Day colors. Come to think of it, this would have been a nice f figure to review at Valentine's Day, but oh well, too late for that, I guess. <clears throat> now take a close look at the head. Do you see that it's very nice? You do get some details picked out in paint, like the horns and this crest thing on the front. It's like this forehead details, and her face has been nicely sculpted, sculpted nicely, very nice. And here is how the figure looks from the back. She does have a bit of a backpack to her, but it's honestly not the worst I've seen. <laughs> I do like the fact that this is one of those uh, Fembots Transformers that actually like utilize some of the bulk f from the vehicle mode into the robot mode, like the legs down here. You can clearly see that some of the vehicle mode has been utilized here for the legs, which is very nice. N not sure, not sure why they often do that, where they completely like want to like shove everything back here and fold everything fold everything up back here but oh well <laughs> uh, her arms are very nice again the magenta color is really is a really good accent color for elita one I do like it forms have been picked out in pink as well as her white th fists forearms and thighs <clears throat> very nice back here again we do get all this kibbly stuff including these like shoulder pads things which can like hinge around now here's a slight downfall is a slight a negative towards the figure this this whole thing up up this whole back assembly is really not tabbed in at all now you can clearly see that there is a tab right here that is apparently supposed to go into that theoretically is supposed to go into that slot right there but for some strange reason it don't want it. And, and the whole fact that this is all loose and doesn't want to fold up, doesn't really, doesn't really want to stay put, doesn't really help with that. So she has like two of these massive kibble chunks that's, that just flops around, which is slightly unfortunate. It's, it's kind of unfortunate, but oh well. 
You're mainly going to be standing here up like this, and gravity should be able to take care, should be able to keep all this in place anyway. But that is something I did want to point out. Now, of course, for her chest, there is a tiny little Autobot symbol picked out right there on her chest. And she does have... And she does have uh, nice details on her on the rest of her torso, though I do see a little bit of the red in where the white is. I'm not sure sure if that's supposed to be there or not. I don't think so. It might be like a little bit of paint bleeding, a uh, plate paint bleeding or something. I don't know. Let's move on to articulation, shall we? So the head is on a ball joint. But the ball joint is really only able to swivel around. So she can look left and right, no issue at all. However, tilt side to side is next to non-existence. And as well as the up and down. It, it, she can only look up that far and down kind of that far and so, uh, at least on my copy her heads swivel her left and right is pretty stiff so that also might be a factor to that but oh well I'd, at least it at least it doesn't like spring forward whenever I'm trying to swivel her head around, so that's a plus. And as I mentioned earlier, the shoulders here are on these, like, hinge swivels. So you can, like, flip them down like that. You can choose to fold them in if you want to hide them and have a blockier backpack. Or you could choose like to fold down like this, which actually it it is stress, stressing on these hinge parts, but that doesn't look too bad. But it is stressing on the part, so I'm not going to do that. The arms, they're on universal joints, so they can go around theoretically, though they kibble back does get in the way however because it's not really tapping at all you can like bend it and move that around the arms can go out to almost 90 degrees but not quite due to how the shoulders are sculpted bicep swivels uh elbow elbows that go a little a good bit over 90 degrees so that's nice. Wrist ro wrist swivels. That's good. Waist swivel. <coughs> Legs are also on a sort of universal joints. So the legs can kick up to this far before go before rotating out. Legs can split legs can go out that far so she can't really do a full split due to how the thigh is molded she's got a thigh swivel though not 360 again due to how the thigh is molded it can't really go back very far due to how the joints are molded, not really the thigh. The thigh is not really to blame this time. It's really how this area is molded, as well as the hip joints. So knees, they can go 90 degrees. All right then. And of course she has ankle tilts. She has crazy ankle tilts due to transformations, though it does though do though it does have like 
lock in positions so it sometimes like springs straight or springs out of control sometimes where you want it in a very particular position but oh well so overall her articulation is is limited in some areas but is but is overall all right she has all right articulation as for accessories, she comes with three. She comes with two different, differently molded guns, both molded in this trans light blue plastic, the same plastic that is used for the windshields. So you get this smaller gun right here. It's very nice. It's a, it's all right. Very neat. I do like the details of these guns. And here's the other gun. This one I don't like quite as much, but I still do really like it. I do like both of them, but I like I think I like this one a tiny, tiny bit more, but but only just barely. This one is still a really cool one. It has all kinds of ports on those port peg posts and ports on the sides. Very nice. And testing these out for plastic compatibility. Yes, these weapons are indeed blast effect compatible. <laughs> I wanna try this. <laughs> yes, apparently apparently that part is also blast effect compatible, though I not sure why you would want to do that. She also comes with this little thing that kind of looks like the top of her head. But this will play a role later. So set, set that off to the side for now. For now, let's just grab these two guns. Let's just plug them into her hands. Again, she... And that's how she looks dual wielding her... Energon rifles, I guess. Uh, because these are very compatible. Like, port 5mm ports. You can, of course, attach them on other, other ports. Like the 5mm ports on the shoulder pauldrons. The 5mm posts under the forearms. Like so... And even the ones down here by the feet. Very nice. So, so you can deck her out in some more artillery and all sorts of stuff. You can put two guns on one arm like this. Not too bad. Do like how that looks. Let's just attach this gun here and this gun here. <coughs> Do like how the robot mode looks. It's very nice. Now as for size comparison, here she is next to the Siege Optimus Prime mold, my Siege Sentimus Prime. So that's how she compares to an Optimus, a op, Optimus Prime mold. Here she is next to Crosscuts. And as you can see, they're about the same size. They're around the same size, including like her shoulder things are like posi positions in like this way. They're like as tall as his doors, so they're about the same size, I guess. And finally, here she is next to the Netflix Elita one. You might notice that something is missing on 
Elita one from the Netflix line. But we'll get back to that later. For now, let's transform this Elita one. Now first, we are going to remove the guns and rotate the wrists 180. This will be important later. Next, what you do is you shift this kibble, shift the pink part of the back kibble back up while having it so it rests like that, so it's flush with the windshields. Then you shift the shoulder pauldrons in, and these tabs are going. These tabs are going to go into these slots right here. Boom. And shift down the other. And there you have the front. Next what you do is you flip out this panel back here. And you shift this whole thing forward. Just a little bit. No, actually you shift it down. You push it down. Then tilt the arms 90 degrees this way so that the 5 mill millimeter holes are pointing out. Tab these tabs into the gaps in the elbows. Boom. While you tab the arm forms into these little like these little like pa red panels from the windshield. Tap it like so. Tilt these 90 degrees. Tap that in like so. And then push lock that in place. Then what you do is you turn the waist 180. You, you take this tab and slide it into that slot. While rotating these things up, locking them in place, and rotating them out like so. So you're utilizing this, these two joints. Then you slide those two parts in place. Then after that, you can adjust the legs so that these parts are lined up. Then you can just swing these parts in, making sure that these tabs tab into these slots from from when attaching from these little gaps for when attaching the wrists in while these tabs up here uh, tab into the spoiler ends right here, these little holes. So keeping those tabs in mind, you swing this together and you squish everything in place. Now you do the same thing on the other side. All right. And then lastly, you take the feet and just swing them in while keeping them straight. And with that, here we have Elita 1 in her car mode. Uh, there we go, in her car mode. And she does look really nice in this mode. I do like it. Though she does appear to be missing one of her most iconic details when it comes to her alt modes. That's when this little piece comes to play. So this is a part that has this 5mm post. You plug it, so what you do is you plug it into this 5mm hole on the roof, like so, then bam. Now, she, now it looks like her head is poking out through the roof. That is like a strange little detail that her original, like, 
obscured car mode has. And they, I am glad that they did. I am alright that they did carry that over to this vehicle mode. Even though these two vehicle modes have like nothing in common. Aside from the, the obvious. But with that out of the way. I do really like this, like, almost off-road buggy look to her car mode. Her tires are obviously not made for off-roading. That's how she looks from the bottom. Nothing too outstanding down there. But you can see why. But you can see why I had. But you can see why I had to rotate the wrists around, because if you don't, you're not gonna get enough clearance to fully tap these car parts in place. So remember the to swivel these 180 when you transform her. Now, the colors do look nice on her. Now, on this mode, it is nice that her color, color scheme in this mode is per, is dominantly red. With very minimal uh, magenta poking through, aside from the back. That's an interesting touch to the transformation. She's got a nice, uh, she's got a nice, like, spoiler thing on the back. Very cool. Her windshield is very nice. Though I am seeing some robot mode parts through this windshield. But then again, I'm seeing robot mode parts that are intentionally visible. She does have side view mirrors. De that are sculpted in. That's cool. Her tires are mushroom pegged in. And they're also all painted white on the inside. And as far as rolling goes. She doesn't. She definitely can roll. Though. Though her rolling is not really that great like her like sometimes her wheels just get stuck see like that it's not the case with all the wheels but still it is very odd and as far as weapon Compatibility goes. We have. Let's bring back the two guns. And of course you can just plug these on the ports back here. Very nice. You can attach them onto the sides like that. You can attach them onto the front like that. You can also attach them onto the forms where the forms are, like so. I guess you could take this off and have it attached up here if you want. And then just attach this, like, uh, I don't know. Maybe here. Or possibly here. That way, when she collides with a vehicle, she's able to pop tires with this. It's a very goofy way to use this, ex to use this little accessory. But hey, you do get some nice options with your weaponry. Very nice. Ooh, 
do enjoy the overall shaping of the vehicle mode. I do like it. Now, as for vehicle mode comparisons, here she is next to Netflix Prime. That's how she compares to him. And I guess like that. Moving that out of the way. Here she is next to Skids. So she is ever so slightly sh uh, shorter than Skids, and she is like, nowhere near as tall as Skids when it comes to vehicle mode. But she is, but she does appear to be a bit wider in car mode, especially in the back. That's neat. And here she is next to the Netflix Elita One's car mode. Yes. I ended up separating the two. I, it is interesting because these two apparently use the same red. Like there's like no difference between the red they used on the Netflix Elita one and the one they used for this Elita one. So that's interesting to see. And you can see how hollow it is. Like, I, I happen to be one of those that happen to push the pin out and separate the two. Because you can totally do that. Where you can just take off the, sh the back kibble and just form the car separately. But, but yeah, you can do that. Now for overall thoughts, I'm before I get into that, I'm, I'm I might I might do a like review for this Earthrise RC mold. Maybe maybe sooner, maybe later. I honestly don't know, but overall thoughts. I do really like this take on Elita 1. I definitely think she's a major improvement over the Netflix one. She does, though she does have her issues in terms of articulation and where articulation and back kibble is concerned is concerned she does have some issues with that especially with how her kibble doesn't even tab in really the transform the, the transformation was all right i did enjoy it overall and the vehicle mode is very nice the the like feet back here is unfortunate, which how could I forget you can plug the the blast effects into her feet. So she's able to she's able to launch into space using her car mode. I really do like her car mode. It's very nice. It's very fun. It's very unique. I do like the car mode. And the transformation is fine. It's it's simple enough. It, it gets the job done. The robot mode, I do like it despite the issues it has in terms of articulation and kib and like kib and lack of kibble tabbing properly tapping in but overall i do like this take on elita one 
and I do highly recommend her. And that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed this review, consider to like and subscribe, and maybe even comment if you want. And of course, I will be posting again sooner or later.